high. Uh, so I'm doing a, a cool thing because uh, I've been using these smart links for releases. So like this is the 7 rit smart link. And all it is is that it's just like an easy little short link that I can paste in the description of all the places that I put stuff on. And then it easily lets you jump around because like it just opens up and you can just click it and go, oh, let me get the... Let me get it on Amazon, or like, let me get it on, or yeah, get it and listen on YouTube Music and like SoundCloud and so on and so forth. Um, and this is a nice service, even for free. But there are some caveats, mainly that you have to uh, specify a website, and it only has specific websites built in. Uh, you have to pay to use like custom stores, which you have to like upload the logo and stuff like that as well. So I've just been using official store for archive.org because that's the only other service I've been using so far. And that's the only one that isn't listed on here. So I haven't had to worry about it. Uh, I was also using Google Drive before, but I just, I... I don't use Google Drive anymore. Everything's moved over to archive.org, so, you know, same difference. Um, but I'm probably going to try putting stuff on itch.io as well. Uh, you know, it's it's very customizable, as you can, fuck, as you can tell. <laughs> um, but... Uh, in this case, I want to. I'm not able to actually put itch.io on the smart link, which is a big issue. And also, I don't. Uh, streaming services are annoying. So, like, this is the official title, seven slash writ. But if you open it on Spotify, it's called seven and then writ in parentheses. So, like, seven subtitled writ, which is not my intention at all. But I have to title it that way because TuneCore is picky about titles. So. Um, and also stuff like how it's isn't available on Apple Music because they're really stingy about silences, and it has silences like literally littered throughout all of it. So, uh, my solution. This is this is what the Spark Links will look like in the future. Uh, it's actually on my website, like this, but. Uh, so it has the cover art, which you can click to see it. Um, and then it has the title and flavor text and the label identification thingy. Please note that ser streaming services often has often have alterations to releases, especially titles, a homepage button, and then all of these buttons are customizable. So like, bam, YouTube, there it is. Bam, SoundCloud, there it is. And all of these buttons are the ones that I actually have full control over. And there's no annoying rules with uploading and stuff like that. At least not the ones that are important. Like, SoundCloud has issues with, like, <sighs> size of uploading and stuff like that. But I have full control over, like, titling and stuff. But then streaming services, it will show the actual uh, smart link thing. And I'll probably remove like the SoundCloud and stuff, but then have official store lead here. Um, and then here's uh, Zone 440, which, as you can tell, the background changed. I'll probably try to keep it so that like it uh, is cohes cohesent. That's not a word. Co. I think I tried to say cohesent. <laughs> Co cohesive and co consistent at the same time. There we go. I, w I completely forgot the words. I'm going to try to have it be consistent with the vision. So like, this is Tomoro. This is Zone 440. Or, uh, the collab division that still isn't named yet. And the, outs uh, the outside. But, as you can see, you have all these buttons and they all do stuff. And there's the streaming services button for Zone 440, which is an issue. Let's fix that. Um, so we just scroll down and we have all these variables. And right here we have the smart link. And smart links are considered uh, streaming services with this setup. But we don't really need it because they're just, they're just the same links. So let's just 
commented out just so it's in there in case I need to use it. Um, why did it go over here? There we go. <laughs> and then before we refresh, bam, it just disappears. Uh, if you make it empty, it just disappears I mean, automatically, which is also why this just only shows Bandcamp. And then, uh, yeah, and I think that's everything to mention except for one thing, which I am particularly happy about. Watch this shit. Look at that. It actually is shit. <laughs> okay, apparently I have to open a separate. There we go. So yeah, it actually works on mobile, unlike literally every other page I've made. But there you go. It actually works on mobile. It's easy to edit. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. O only con only downside I can think of is that GitHub f takes fucking forever to e edit their pages. Uh, so sometimes it might take a very long time to update but you know there's other things that take very long times so you know i, I I'll, I'll time things out it's fine